Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and today I'm going to show you how to create 3D perspective animations using Adobe XD, After Effects and Webflow. So let's begin. Okay, let's start in the shape library. Over there, make sure that you are in the illustration tab and let's scroll all the way to the bottom. Then you will find this beautiful illustration. Okay, let's select this illustration and let's download it. Now let's go to Adobe XD and over there we can select our SVG and we can drag and drop it to the canvas. Then let's press A on your keyboard so we can create an artboard of 1000 by 550. And then we can center our SVG to the artboard. Okay, perfect. So let me tell you a little secret and the reason that we are using XD for this flow. Perhaps you don't know, but After Effects doesn't accept SVG. So one way is to open the SVG file with Illustrator and from there take it to After Effects. But the easiest way is to use Adobe XD because the only thing you need to do is drag and drop your SVG file and then you have an option that says export to After Effects. And this will translate all the different layers that we have in Adobe XD into layers in After Effects. Okay, let's continue. Make sure that you're selecting the artboard. Then go to file and over there in the bottom, go to export. Then you will have an option that says After Effects. Click over there and After Effects will open automatically with all the different layers from our SVG. Once in After Effects, we need to change some of the settings of the composition. So let's go to Composition and select Composition Settings. For the frame rate, you can change from 60 to 30 or if you have 30, just keep it like that. Then on the duration from one minute to two seconds. Okay, perfect. So the next thing we will do is to raise some layers. And these are some unnecessary layers that were created when we exported from XD to After Effects. So in my case, I will select all the green layers and erase them. And erasing these layers will help us so much because it will reduce the amount of code that we will have the moment when we need to export this animated illustration to JSON. So now let's select the rest of the layers and we need to convert them into 3D layers. So the only thing we need to do is to click on the cube icon. Now, what we need to do is to change the orientation of the layers so we can have this 3D effect. For this, we will use a parenting technique, which means that I will select one layer that will be the parent and the rest of the layers will be linked to this parent layer. Then I can do any modifications to the parent layer and the rest of the layers will copy every keyframe that we are adding to the parent layer. So layer path one will be my parent layer, which means that the rest of the layers should be linked to layer path one. So I will select the rest of them and then I will go to the column that says parent and link and I will choose layer path one. Okay, perfect. Then I will select layer path one and I will go to orientation and over there I will add some keyframes. So let's click on the stopwatch like that we are adding a keyframe on zero seconds. Then I will move the scrubber to one second and over there, let's change the X axis to 339. Okay, perfect. And the Y axis to 10. Okay, super nice. Then I will move the scrubber to two seconds and over there, I will change the X axis to zero and the Y axis to zero again. And let's take a look. Yeah, it looks perfect. So now we need to select all the layers except for the parent layer and we need to change their position. Let's add a keyframe in zero seconds. Then let's scrub a little bit until one second and 29 frames and let's add another keyframe. Okay, perfect. Now let's move the scrubber to one second and over there from path six, let's change its position in the Z axis to minus 54. Okay, good. Then for the next layer, let's change the position to minus 36. For the next one, minus 53. The next one, minus 43. Then for path four, let's change the Z axis to minus 29. And for the next layer, let's change the Z axis to minus one. Okay, cool. Now let's take a look of our animation. Okay, nice. So I think it's looking really cool, but I think we can smooth it a little bit more. So we can change the easy of the different keyframes. Let's select all the different keyframes and let's right click and over there let's go to keyframe assistant and let's choose easy ease. Okay, perfect. Now let's watch one more time the animation. Now I think it looks really cool. Okay, the last thing we need to do 
is to export our animation in JSON. So let's go to Window, Extensions, and let's choose Body Moving. I'm assuming that you install already Body Moving to your After Effects. If not, you can go to the link on the screen so you can follow the steps to install Body Moving to After Effects. So I will open Body Moving, and over there I can choose the destination folder, and I will create a new folder. And I will name it JSON Animation. Okay, good. I will change the name of my JSON and I will call it Animation 1. Then I will hit Save and I will click Render. Then I will hit Done. Finally, let's go to Webflow and let's test our JSON file. So let's add some elements. I will add a section and inside the section I will add a div. Then inside the div, let's add the Lottie animation. Then let's click on Replace Lottie Sequence and we need to drag and drop our JSON file. Okay, perfect. Then let's choose the JSON file. And boom, there you go. Now let's align and justify the illustration. So let's add some actions to the animation. So we want that it can start every time that I will hover over. But when I will stop hovering over, so the animation will stop. Let's do that. So make sure that you're selecting the div. Then Let's click on Actions, and over there, let's click on the plus icon. Then I will select Mouse Hover. Okay. And on Hover, I will select Start Animation. And then I will click the plus icon. I will name it to In. Okay, good. Then I will select the Lottie Animation, and I will click the plus icon. And I will choose Lottie. Finally, I will turn on the switch, and I will set as the initial state. Then I will right-click. And over there, I will select Lottie again. And on the bottom, I will give 49%. Okay, perfect. I will change the duration to one second. Nice. Now, I will close this. And then I will go to on hover out. And over there, I will choose start an animation. Then I will click on the plus icon. And I will name this out. I make sure that I'm selecting Lottie animation. I will click the plus icon. And over there, I will choose Lottie. For the percentage, I will change it also to 49. And on duration, I will put 0 seconds. Okay, nice. I will right click and I will choose Lottie again. And then I will change the duration to 1. Then I will close everything. And we can go to preview. And let's try this out. So I will hover over and you can see the beautiful animation. Let's do it one more time. Nice. So this is the end of the video. If you guys like it, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please put it on the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Bye.